Okay, this is, as promised, a short demonstration of the new 3D, 3D pass-through or whatever 3D view mode of the camera. This should be recording with overlays and everything uh, from Steam VR. Uh, so I have it on. It's in the no the camera settings. So you can pick between 2D and 3D and it's experimental, experimental. Uh, it has different modes, so let's start with the default, I guess. I double tapped. As you notice, there's an initiation period. I think it needs to estimate uh, an initial mesh. Um, so I've seen other people also point out you have this cropped view. You can see the edges probably. Uh, but <coughs> spontaneously for me, this is 2000 times more comfortable to use because these distances are correct and everything is like properly scaled. If I do the 2D mode, I'm using the index. It's using the direct video feeds from from the two cameras on the headset, which are not placed at a human IPD. So the whole world is now, they're, they're actually further apart. So the whole world is now feeling like it's a miniature. It's a really strange effect. It's what you would get using a hyperscope in reality, an optical device. Um, distance is really hard to detect. Like I had to reach for the, table multiple times because I thought this is this is what it feels like I should be able to do to grab those headphones but it's actually further away because the scale is all wrong that's why the 3d mode is is preferable to me even with like you can see with with, with large flat surfaces like walls and in this case drawers it will move it or move around because it can't interpret what is what the depth is so right now it looks like the drawer is actually bulging out um, i've also heard it mentioned that it's now focused on static scenery and not dynamic stuff like your heads your hands and, and arms which i think is fine it captures the room and that's kind of the important part right you can see through the window there that's the window in the or a different room. Looks really weird. Let's check the other modes. So colored edges, colored ghosts. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't have any ghosts in here, but I'm not 100%. I can see the background through the through the scenery. It feels like the darker colors are more transparent. I think that's how this works. So it's basically a, uh, what's it called? I guess a render mode. So it's like additive instead of just replacing. Let's go for translucent pass through. So this is the actual room color, but I can still see the mountain range in the background. So it, it uses, oh, well, it shows both at the same time, mixing the virtual and the real. And, uh, yeah, I think I still prefer the opaque pass-through, which just ignores the virtual world and puts this on top. Uh, if I look through, I have cut up the facial interface. I have a bigger hole at the nose so I can see through it. And it is uncanny how well, like I'm looking at the headphones again and they're exactly, I see the transition between the screen and re the reality. And it's a fairly perfect match, almost perfect. Um, at this point, when not using the 2D camera, it is very, it's as easy to pinpoint where things are. I think it's called reperception repre or whatever but your body knows where your hands are. Um, 
it's way easier with this 3D mode. So that's very nice. It also updates live. Uh, I think that's why there is a delay to initiate it. So if I turn it off, oops, double tap. And if I double tap, that's like four seconds. So that's a fairly chunky delay for it to start. Um, that makes it difficult to use for this. If you go to your play area, I think, or it might be still being camera. Yes, throw, show camera at edge, room edge. If I turn it off again. Now if I reach my chaperone, it will trigger the 3D camera mode. But it's, <laughs> that's, that's a bit too high of a delay to, or long of a delay for it to be really useful, I think. Um, let's switch it to 2D mode and see if there's a difference. So walking up to the edge. It's actually as slow. I don't know why. Maybe it's initial initiating the USB devices again. Huh. So maybe it doesn't have to do with the 3D mode, but the camera? Possibly. Who knows at this point? Uh, yeah, I do. I do like it. Um, one thing that is pretty awesome, if I can get it on again, I have done chaperone bounds match, but this is right now. This is the best Steam VR representation of the chaperone bounds and you are real world at the same time. It does feel like my chaperone bounds are flying, so I'm gonna do a floor reset using FPS VR. I think utilities, no, play space, fix floor. Uh, did I click it? Fixing. Oh, it moved it a slight bit. Yeah. It does mess up your arms and stuff very close uh, close up. Um, if you put the controller at a distance, it matches pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we have like an old tool called Chaperone Tweak. That would be awesome to have a new version of where you can edit chaperone bounds in this mode and just move it around your your room. You can see this is slightly off. Actually, it feels like my whole room has been rotated somewhat because I think this was pretty good yesterday, but now it's, it's off angle. This is also off angle, and that was <laughs> oh, that was scary. It, it it made I think it made the the bean bag jump out at me. That was almost, you know, a horror show worthy of, of surprise. Door is pretty well, pretty, pretty well matched. Uh, but yeah, it does feel like it has all been rotated that way. Not sure I can fix that easily, but yeah. So yeah, this is the, this is the 3D mode. I uh, quite like it. Uh, it's lagging behind a bit when you turn quickly. So it can definitely have improvements. I think I noticed before when checking GPU usage, it's using about 20% GPU ex additionally. So GPU 48%, turning it off, drops down to... Oh, that was degrees, sorry. 23% <laughs> GPU, just running Steam VR. And toggling this camera mode. Yeah, it goes up to around 40. So 15 to 20% GPU on an RTX 2080. But computer vision is an expensive, expensive thing to run. So I'm not entirely surprised. And if it works like the dashboard, uh, any game that would be rendering uh, would probably drop in resolution. That's usually what happens. 
Uh, oh, I mean FPS VR camera. If we do the trans do the translucent one, I think the background is at full resolution. I don't think that lowers because that's in the compositor. It's not an actual game. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this time. Uh, yeah, this has been a demonstration of the 3D view. Okay, bye bye.